Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And this screencast is all about memory tweaking and tuning to the extreme in Lubuntu 10.10. So first of all, I will show you some basic tips and tricks that you might also want to use on your system if you are not so experienced user. But the most of the tricks that I will show you here are extreme tricks, so they will require some knowledge and they are only for those people who really need the last bits and, and bytes of uh, megabytes of their, um, of their RAM free. So if you have 64 megabytes of RAM only or even less, you might want to hear about some extreme memory tweaking tips in Lubuntu 10.10. .10. So first of all, some basic tips. So first of all, we need to measure somehow the memory usage that we now have on our system. So there are basically two ways to do this. First of all, we will work with the terminal. So I will open up an LX terminal here. I will make the font size a little bit bigger so that you can see something. So this looks pretty nice. So the first thing that you you might want to do is uh, first of all try to look how much memory we are using with the command free minus m for megabytes so it will then count in megabytes instead of uh, kilobytes and you will get some uh, rough edges here around uh, how much is used how much memory we have in total and I'm using in a uh, virtual box machine here with 120 8 megabytes of RAM. As you can see, it detects 117 megabytes, used 114, and free uh, 3 megabytes. If this is not enough for you, you might also want to consider installing um, HTOP, which is a very nice tool to also measure CPU performance, uh, usage, and of course the RAM usage. So just install it with, with the sudo apt-get install command and after executing it you can see uh, the CPU usage and the memory usage here. So we are using 61 megabytes of 117 megabytes. So you can see that the programs free and HDOP measure the memory usage differently, very differently. But this is not so important for, um, for, for getting uh, or for this screencast first, first. It, it's just that you will stick to one application and see the changes in memory uh, with the tweaking and tuning that we will perform now. So first of all, what's very nice is if you have HTOP running, you can see all the applications, all the processes running as well. You can as well, of course, go to a graphical application like the um, task manager, which will, which will also show you the memory usage and which will also show you some uh, tasks running and how much memory they consume. But uh, I think I will stick to the terminal because we will work in the terminal a lot in this screencast. So one thing that you might notice is that we have an update uh, notifier running in the background. So the first thing that I wa will do, and this is very a basic trick, is of course uh, the autostat applications. So the applications that will run in the background and will auto start every time you open, uh, every time you boot up your computer. Uh, you can go to the preferences here and go to desktop session settings to see a list of auto start applications. And here you can tweak as well. So the first thing that we will do is disable the update notifier. This one, this is a little application that will run in the background and will then permanently check every few hours or every time you update your package source list, it will check if there are updates available. So it's running in the background and consuming some memory usage. So we will disable it for here f first and let's see HTOP here. So we did not kill the application. Uh, it's still running in the background, so we need to kill it as well. Just type in kill all uh, update notifier and this will kill 
The update notifier can execute it a second time if you are not sure it is really killed, but kill all should kill it. As you can see, no process found. So let's check HDOP. And you can see we won a little bit of megabytes in the RAM usage, in the memory usage. So this is really nice. So the next thing that you can do to save a little bit of memory is a little bit trickier to do. So you might know if you are holding uh, Control Alt and F1 key, you can switch to an to an TTY, so on con uh, in console, uh, basically speaking, where you can log in and can work. And you can see also that we have a bunch of these TTYs running. So six TTYs, TTYs are running. So what do we want to do with them? We only need perhaps one or two, but not six. So what we can do is disable the other ones that we don't want to use. So let's go back to the graphical user interface by hitting Control alt and F7. So what we now will do is editing some configuration files. This is really, really um, for ex experts only. So if you don't know what to do, or what are I doing here right now, don't do it. So I will edit this uh, with a normal text editor, in this case a um, text editor for the terminal. Uh, just edit the uh, file etc in it, tty, and then the number, for example uh, number3.conf, and then just comment out those uh, start and stop everything basically. Um, you might also, if you want to remind you yourself that you are, that you disabled those TTYs, you can just simply with a bash commando type in here echo disabled TTY. So just a reminder. So the next thing you can do this of course with TTY4 as well. And of course with TTY5. And then of course with the fix one as well. So after this Make sure that you run the command uh, sudo update initramfs minus u to update uh, your initramfs so that it won't load the uh, TTYs while booting or while initializing the system. Uh, of course, make sure that you type it in correctly. And it will then take a few seconds to rebuild the initrd image. And after this, uh, you have a new in initialization system that will then make sure that no TTY gets loaded um, in the initialization process. So this takes a time as you can see. Uh, so let's talk about some other basic steps that you can do to optimize your RAM usage. Make sure if you are running not on a laptop, for example, uh, that you can disable the network management, of course. If you have a um, desktop computer and you have a uh, static IP address, you can simply set it uh, with the DHCP uh, or the network configuration files and uh, you don't need the network manager to be running. So another nice little trick is getting some of the normally in LXDE started um, or Lubuntu started LXDE tools to disable. So the network management tool, you don't find it under the desktop session settings. So you need to go somewhere else. I will show you where you can find it. Just go to etc xdg 
and there you can see a folder called X Alex session and if you go in there you have the Lubuntu and Lubuntu netbook session so I will edit the Lubuntu session and here you have an auto start file just open it up with an editor and you can see every application that gets auto started and here you can see that NM applet is also auto started so what we need here is just remove this line so that the network management applet won't auto start this is especially useful if you have a um, static IP address if you have a desktop computer and not wireless LAN because wireless LAN you are, uh, of course in uh, one day you have this hotspot that you want to join and another day another one so you can change this as well one thing that I would change here, but I need root rights, so I will go open up a terminal here and edit it with the VI editor. One thing that I will disable here is the GNOME Power Manager because I don't need it, especially not in <laughs> my uh, virtual desktop session here. So just delete this line here. And this is also very interesting, besides the network management applet that you might want to uh, delete or get rid of. You can also get rid of, of the PCMan uh, FM desktop background. So this is the one that is drawing this wallpaper and as you can see in the default uh, installation you don't have any desktop icons and I uh, suddenly or I, I re realized that I don't need those desktop icons because I have everything um, everything arranged so that I can use uh, shortcuts or hotkeys so I can disable this background uh, running PCMan FM as well just by disabling or deleting this line and one thing that I do I don't want to delete is the policy kit gnome uh, authentication agent is sometimes very uh, useful to have it in here so you will get some strange errors if you delete it as well so this is basically everything uh, you might want to delete the screen, screen saver if you don't use it, but I will stay with it and I will save this file here. Delay, uh, close the terminal, close this one and I think, yeah, everything is done. And so now let's reboot because we need to reboot to have uh, a change or for the changes to take effect with the TTYs so let me quickly reboot here and then I will show you I will quickly check the memory usage of the system and then you will see that we have less and less memory usage on the system so it's now rebooting hopefully hopefully the TTYs are disabled so we only have TTY 1 2 and I think three perhaps four five and six should be disabled so I need to log in with my password and there we have it I will open up a terminal and um, terminal accessories Alex terminal and I will make the font size a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing here and typing, typing htop and you can see we are using now 53 megabytes of memory only so we kinda reduced it about 10 megabytes uh, with all the tweaks that I showed you now and this is I think a lot this is a lot especially useful for those ones of you who only have 64 megabytes of RAM and a swap uh, file or a swap partition you can reduce the usage of the system to about uh, 53 megabytes or at least to a to have a um, straightforward running desktop system so let me show you that the TTYs are disabled so we are now going to TY1 and this is interesting kind of snapped out so TTA2 TTA3 is disabled as you can see, 4, 5 and 6 also, so we have only TTA1 and TTA2 here. And we have of course TTA7 where the X server is running. So this is basically everything for this screencast. I showed you hard and extreme 
um, ways to lower your memory u usage under Lubuntu 10.10. .10. I hope you enjoyed this uh, screencast and thanks for watching. Until the next time.